Getting bashed. Post Valentine kisses. On each other's Valentine. <laughs> oh no, that's Buzzy's Valentine. There, there we go. Good boy. <laughs> this, like a train of pets at the moment. This is our new morning routine. <laughs> Buzz was ready to go to. Good morning, baby boy. Should we say good morning to the bump? Hmm? That's what we do every morning, isn't it? So this is the bump. Is it all baby? Like you, little thing. <laughs> Different species though. Different species, but little. They're going to be bigger than you very quick. <laughs> go. Good morning, Bumpy. You have to talk because they, they can hear you and they remember when they come out of the pub. Good morning. This is your father talking. <laughs> Simba. I, I do hope that you slept well. Simba's a nice boy name, isn't it, if we had a boy? Yeah. It's quite a nice name. Simba. Simba. Simba was looking at me like, what are you all about? <laughs> On the school run, I'd be going, Simba. <laughs> Have a good day at school, son. Simba. <laughs> My little bumpy. Hello, good morning. They've been, they've been regular about this morning. They, I, I can't wait till I can say that, um, he or she. They're very active, aren't they? Yep. Now's been feeling little niggles. No, not niggles. Niggles are little injury hair yeah, pokes. Like, boom, little, little <laughs> flutter. <laughs> like, boom. Boom, boom. Like, boom. Feels like a little flutter. And they're, they're particularly active at night. And... They enjoy Love Island, apparently. Love Island seems to get them going. <laughs> When you say them, it sounds like you've got twins. I know, that's what people have thought. Can but you just, just say, say the gender? Because I just want to start saying... Yeah, but, yeah I just don't know if, if we'll have said yet when I put this vlog up. But we will, I think this week, this vlog's up. All those people that were guessing, some of you got it completely wrong. Good morning, everybody. We have a hairy, naked Nile behind us to start our first day in the life vlog in since Vlogmas. Since Vlogmas. But you were vlogging on holiday, that's why it feels... Well, we were doing a Q&A, so that's a bit different, but I haven't done like a day in the life. I want to say thank you for the nice comments on the Q&A. Oh it's yeah. It's always lovely, and it gives us confidence going forward to do uh, something that we what want to do. do? Oh, the secret project. Oh, I thought you were saying thank you because people were nice about... No, that is what I was saying. ...about the baby stuff. Well, yeah, they were just nice about everything in general. Stay there or the bulge will be unveiled. No. No one will watch my vlogs anymore. What a bulge, too small. Oh shit, <laughs> you're just fishing. That's too much information. No, you can't anyway, put that in. No, it's the morning, it's not even midday. <laughs> Bloody hell. Anyway, hello guys. Welcome to a new vlog. Do you know what I was thinking this morning now? What? It feels like lockdown one. Why? Because my one is on. Any other reason? I don't know, there's just something <laughs> about the time of year. It was actually almost exactly three years ago that the lockdown one Started. It's not it, now. I was not. just for summer. <laughs> Get by me. It's just a body. Um, yeah, no, I, I don't know what it is about today, but look outside. It's it's springy. It's fresh. Oh yeah, I, don't steal what I said earlier. Yeah, Niall said earlier. Oh, it's very springy today. Go in the car, wound down the windows, had a sniff of good, the fresh air. Good breath of fresh air, and then oh, oh. spring is <laughs> upon us. Spring. No, but you know what? It makes me really want to sit in my egg chair again and talk on my vlogs every day. Well, I think you have to give it a clean because it's covered in bird shit. Yeah, to be fair, we need Actually, to sort out that garden. Bad. I'm yeah. so excited for like... We need a leaf blower. Yeah, we do. I'm so excited for spring and summer. Is anybody else? I feel like Christmas is gone. Now I just want it to be June. June. Or July, when July. Bub arrives. People think the baby was going to get called June. No, they didn't actually. No one guessed the name yet on the Q and A. Let me know, actually. Let me know again if you want to. <laughs> what you think the name is, but no one's got it yet. There's a month name that I found that I I don't even think it's really a name. For I another like name it. you like, yeah. See if you guys can guess what month it is. January. No. <laughs> I should call your kid January. January. <laughs> Anyways, I'm off. Okay, just careful of the bulge on the way out. Oh. <laughs> Anyway, I have really missed just chatting to you and when I was thinking about lockdown one 
earlier and how well it just i don't know what it is that just feels very lockdown one and weirdly i have very fond memories <laughs> i have very fond memories of the first lockdown because really weird time but doing the live workouts every day and you know the fun vlogs we did in the garden i just feel like I was kind of, I kind of felt the most connected then and we obviously had lots of time to do stuff online because we were all at home. So yeah, I'm feeling a bit nostalgic for lockdown one which sounds really weird because obviously lockdown was horrendous in lots of ways but I just love the live workouts and I really miss them but people just, I don't think people would want them anymore. But anyway. <laughs> I thought today we would chat all things fitness and food and kind of like what I'm feeling in my new body. I'm actually at the halfway point of my pregnancy, which is crazy. I can't, I literally can't believe it. it's like four and a half months till Bubba's here, which is just mad. But yeah, I wanted to kind of chat to you through all things fitness and food and kind of focus today's vlog on that because we haven't done that for a long, long time. And I'm really feeling motivated at the moment since coming back from being away as well. I'm gonna have some breakfast because do you know what? I don't have morning sickness feelings anymore since the first trimester really, which I thought was gonna be one of those myths that as soon as you come out of the first trimester, you don't feel sick anymore. But honestly, my car sick feeling I had in the mornings just went almost exactly when the, that trimester ended. I couldn't believe it. But the only thing I do now get sometimes is I'll wake up and suddenly I'll be absolutely starving. And then if I don't eat within like five minutes, I will feel sick. So I'm gonna make my breakfast before that happens. <laughs> but I'm actually having at the moment a very simple breakfast. Now we have this because we know, if you watch the pregnancy vlog anyway, <laughs> we know that the bod is not moving at its normal pace anymore. <laughs> To be fair, it's not as bad as when I mentioned it in that video where I was like, nothing is happening in my body and it's just getting very clogged up in there. Um, I actually think this has helped to be fair in the mornings, but fruit and fiber, obviously fiber's gonna help that. So this is now my breakfast. I will probably also have a breakfast smoothie in a couple of hours as well, because I do find that cereal doesn't keep me that full for very long, but, I actually get really excited for this in the morning, which is really weird. <laughs> it's Biscuit's world and we're living in it. <laughs> Thinks he's in the jungle right now. <laughs> Where'd he go? I'm getting chased by monkeys. Oh my God. Go. go. Basil, get, go give Biscuit a kiss. Pretend to be a monkey. He's not very agile, is he? No, he's, like, he's a bit of a blob. He's like grumpy. He's going to constantly battle because his eyes go very flat at the top. <laughs> he looks at you with your eyebrows. <laughs> I've just seen that one coming. He's a good-looking little boy, isn't he? He is a good-looking little boy. Where is he? He needs a little biscuit update because it's been a while. Oh. No, he's definitely not going to allow it right now. <laughs> Can we just see your little head for a second? Oh, you're just so adorable, aren't you? But you take yourself very seriously. First ever bump update. This is the bump. <laughs> At the five month mark, I literally can't believe we are five months. I can't believe there's a five month old baby in there. But yeah, I thought we could kind of chat about all of the body changes and just thoughts and feelings of the body since it's been adjusting over the past five months and just kind of show you and document as we go what's been different but yeah this is how the bump's looking it honestly blows my mind there's a baby in there <laughs> I just <laughs> still can't believe it but um do you know what it's funny it took my body a long time to kind of form any kind of a bump and i don't know if any of you guys who are also pregnant i mean this is the thing every pregnant woman is so different in when things happen for them in their pregnancy and i think the more you compare to other pregnant women the worse <laughs> it will be for yourself but it's really hard not to so like 
I basically only really started to get a bump a couple of weeks ago and it's still very small and I thought something was wrong because I don't know you just feel like but how how's there a baby in <laughs> how's there a baby there are they okay and I feel like since I've started to feel the move my mind is a lot more settled because I don't know if people feel like this but because you kind of have a scan, you know, every so often, well, they're not even that often, you have like your 12 week and then your 20 week and then you can, you know, some people book private ones in between if they want to like find out the gender or they want, you know, that early one. But they're not that often and in between those times, I just feel like if you don't see much difference, it doesn't really feel like there's it doesn't really feel like you're pregnant well obviously other than like the symptoms but like visually I just find that it's so confusing if you're not seeing those changes if that makes sense physically and you're like but how is there a baby in there is everything okay um but obviously since I've started to feel them I feel much more settled because I know that they're doing their thing in there but it is really weird that you know you go weeks and you just assume everything's okay but then if you're not physically changing much but then you see another pregnant woman who's at the same point as you in their pregnancy much bigger then you could feel like something might be wrong obviously did see some body changes my boobs are growing <laughs> so much bigger <laughs> and i'm very grateful for it because i was very small chested for a very long time <laughs> and it's really nice to have boobs although it's interesting with sprinting and stuff because i'm not used to having boobs that actually move I feel really good in my body now um what i was gonna say is before i saw much bump at all i did see like some things like the boobs but my, mainly what happened is my waist just widened quite a lot and i just felt really bloated but then i think because it never looked like bump or anything or it didn't really go outwards it just sort of i just looked i felt a bit out of shape if that makes sense i had quite a lot of negative body image days i'm not gonna lie like i did have some days where i just felt you know like when you have an ugly day i just felt like i had a lot of them <laughs> and i just was like what's my body doing i don't understand and because i've never you know experienced this i'm sure many women on their first baby or even you know their other babies that they have further down the line it's just confusing because you're like what's what's my body doing was just worried that you know there's other people at my point that have proper bumps and why don't i but that's why you shouldn't do that so if any of you guys are pregnant doing that and maybe you're earlier on you haven't seen much happen yet don't panic <laughs> neither did i and every woman's body is so different because you're you are learning to get to know your new body i'm just kind of going <clears throat> into all of the all of this pregnancy with quite an open mind because I think I've always been quite an anxious person and when you feel like you're out of control that's when anxiety triggers for me and because you can't really control what's going on in a pregnancy you kind of do just have to go with it and I really feel like I've I'm actually doing that for the first time in my life I'm just going with the flow and enjoying the process and it's really really nice and obviously having Niall be so supportive and make me feel really confident in my body is so great. And I'm so lucky to have him and you know, he, him be so supportive with it all. He actually, I think, I feel like he prefers my body now than he's ever has, so. <laughs> anyway, that's kind of how I've been feeling. But yeah, it's all very exciting and I feel very, very lucky to have little bub in my tummy so i just feel like i'm going with it and just getting to know my new body as we go i do feel like my mind is much more at ease now that i can feel them doing their thing and honestly that is the most mind-boggling feeling every time it happens but it's also so nice because like they're always there with me which is just such a nice feeling but anyway i actually am going to do a Pilates class today and I'm gonna bring you along to do it but I'm gonna, just, I'm gonna do it a little bit later but I also wanted to show you this absolutely disgusting leg workout I did a few days back when I first got home from being away I essentially went in very hard <laughs> which after having a little bit less of a routine while I was away may have been a risky move <laughs> because I feel like usually people ease themselves back into getting into you know their proper workout routine when they haven't been doing it but I decided to go ham 
and do the rocks leg workout. Sometimes when I'm trying to get back into my routine when I come home from being away or like being off from, you know, if I have a rest week or something, I do just feel motivated to go in hard and I did. <laughs> it was a disgusting leg workout I saw on TikTok that's going around at the moment which is the rocks leg day and um, I thought that I'd show you guys too because if you want a really disgusting leg day do this and please tell me what you think. There is literally four sets of 40 walking lunges in there, weighted as well. But I did annoyingly just film it on my phone I was meaning to do it on my camera too but I completely forgot so sorry that it will be like this on the screen in a second but I do want to show you because it's such a good session so I'll, I'll pop it in the next slide because um, it's so good. Let me know if you do it and if you want a good leg day then you have to do this, it's disgusting. Is ready to go and it's a good one. I'll tell you why it's a good one because we have the frozen strawberry and banana mix in stock that is usually out of stock and I have to go with like a berry one which isn't quite as nice so if you ever want to make the nicest smoothie go for the strawberry and banana frozen fruit peanut butter this peanut butter is so good actually now I just got sent well the good bite just got sent this from this brand which I've never heard of but it tastes unbelievable so you have a little scoop of that we've got milk and then I've also got some chocolate brownie, brownie protein in it so good if I was ever to recommend a breakfast I would probably always say a breakfast smoothie first because you can just make so many concoct I'm gonna take this upstairs with me and leave Niall the rest for when he comes home but um you can make so many concoctions and put so much goodness into them. So if I was having this just as breakfast alone, I would have probably put in a bunch of oats as well to make it a bit more substantial so that it keeps me nice and full. But because I had my cereal already, I don't feel like I need that. Yeah, you can just make so many concoctions. You can put chia seeds in there. Another good one for the digestive system. <laughs> I need to stop talking about constipation. <laughs> But chia seeds have a lot of benefits and that's another good thing that you can just chuck in, you don't even taste it. Yeah, you just make so many different things and it's another good way of getting more protein in as well. So, can you hear the breathlessness? <laughs> that's something else that I'm getting used to, but um, anyway, I've actually come upstairs because I am actually going to do a little try on of some new in pieces that I have from one of my absolute favourite brands at the moment and I'm sure you have seen this brand absolutely everywhere <laughs> because I feel like every, what's that saying? Every woman and their son? Oh hang on, Niles at the door, wait there. What's that saying when you're like every woman and their mum, every person and their mum has that? Every man and their dog. Every man and their dog. Well, that's a bit wrong. Okay, every man and their dog. Even Niall will back me on this. Every man and their dog has an Adenola sweatshirt at the moment, don't they? And the socks. And the socks. Yeah. They're so good, though. Honestly, I feel like that's all I've worn, particularly through, like, the winter months. Anyway, they really kindly <laughs> reached out to me to do a little collab with them, which was so exciting, because the other thing is... <laughs> 
I remember at Christmas, that was basically all that was on my Christmas list, which I asked Niall for, and it's so hard to get some things now because they are so popular. And so when they reached out, I was like, oh my God, this is an absolute dream. It all came back in stock, which was so exciting. So I am going to try on some bits of you. I'm actually wearing all Adenola at the moment, but they just do the best, like, neutral basics and they're just like really nice quality and they get the shapes right so you know some tracksuits are just horrible <laughs> and they have like that slim fit at the bottom so they look really i don't know they're just very old school i much prefer the kind of 90s look they just do like the most simplistic things like this top which i absolutely love and i have already quite a few of their cap sleeve versions of this now got me for christmas it's just so good to just throw on with anything so, yeah, this is a little set that I already had, <laughs> but I've been wearing it today and it is actually all Adenola. But I thought we could run through some things that I've picked from the website. Oh no, you're on my swivelly chair. I've brought it in here as a tripod, which probably is not a very clever thing to do. The other thing they do, which I've actually picked a couple of sets, are cycling shorts and really nice sort of, well, they are technically gym sets, but I would probably wear this sort of, gym wear more kind of like leisure so that's sort of their main thing is athleisure and they have absolutely smashed it i actually remember when i don't know first came out years and years ago when i first started going to the gym i just feel like it's everywhere now and i'm sure so many of you have seen it as well especially people in the uk i think it's very popular more so in the uk but the adenola jumpers you just see everywhere these cycling shorts can be so nice now i go into spring and there's a little matching crop top as well with like a big baggy denim jacket and chunky trainers i feel like we'll be so i'm so excited for spring so excited for like spring fashion and it to be like sunny but a bit chilly but then we can kind of like get the leg out a little bit because also I tried these on last night and they feel so nice on my tummy because they're not too um, squished and this material is super, super like buttery. So can you see the fabric? Very sort of soft and brushed. I think it's brushed, that's the word, which makes it really soft. Anyway, I'm gonna just try things on and show you in the mirror as we go rather than talk through each piece. And show you everything styled. Okay, first up, I thought I'd start with the tracksuits, considering I was going on about them so much. But this is one of their sweat sets. I don't know what it is about the Adenola sweat sets, but they just they don't look like slobby tracksuits. They're very stylish, very like simplistic, but they just look super cool. <laughs> they just don't make you look slobby. They're such nice quality. They're nice and like soft inside but they're not like super super thick so that they're too hot for like springtime which is good they've got so many different colors as well i think gray is my favorite because it's just you know a staple but they just look so cool <laughs> with sizing on this as well i always go for my small in the bottoms because they are naturally very oversized i have actually got a medium in the sweater but because they are so oversized naturally I kind of think I could probably do the small. I keep going for mediums because I just, I do like that super baggy look. But because it is so baggy, I think your normal size would be absolutely fine in the sweaters too. But yeah, I'm so obsessed with their sweat sets. I just feel like they're so clean and just really cool. Guys, this outfit is giving me serious spring vibes. It's making me so excited to be able to dress like this without freezing my ass off which i would right now <laughs> um but i've just popped this tote bag with it i actually already have this tote bag and i was just thinking what i might do is if any of you guys would like this i'm gonna just give it to one of you in the comments because i have the exact same one and it is so good because again it's just like a basic which goes with absolutely everything and it's a really good size tote bag as well but this is the set. So comfortable. It's so comfy here. It doesn't like squish me, which is really, really nice. And also this sports bra, which I feel like you could easily wear as a top just with like jeans because it does basically just look like a crop top, but then it does have the technology within it. <laughs> this is the pad, not my boob. <laughs> but um, it's got the technology there to really support you as well. And it's kind of netted and cups you there really well. So it's very clever, but 
yeah the other thing I really love about this set too is it's called marshmallow white which I love when brands name the colours after food because it makes me want it more <laughs> but because also it's white you'd think it would be see-through but it literally isn't see-through at all because it's nice and thick I feel like this is going to be such a cute little outfit this spring and as my bump grows there's still lots of space for it to be nice and comfy in there. Okay, next little combo we have is very much giving me Hailey Bieber coming out of her Pilates class in LA vibes. <laughs> I don't know if any of you guys have seen those pat pictures, but they constantly come up on my explore page. All you need is the glasses and a juice in hand, and you're essentially Hailey Bieber. <laughs> but I do just feel like the Adenola clothes have that kind of Hailey feel, which is just very simple, but I don't know, it just looks really cool because it looks like you haven't tried. It's very effortless. But yeah, these are the um, leggings, which are the same as the cycling shorts in legging form. So they're that really soft material again. And again, really comfy waistband. These obviously aren't designed as maternity leggings, but I do think they're a really nice option for pregnant women. But also, if you just don't like you know, feeling that sort of tightness on your waistband, then these are a really good option for you. Just to quickly show you, the bum is really nice on them too. And then we also have this forest green sweater, which, again, I just absolutely love their tracksuit stuff. It's just, it just fits so nicely, I love it. Next little set we have is this sweater these are actually some of my just pink cycling shorts i've popped with it just to show you the sweater on because i feel like sweaters also look so nice with cycling shorts and trainers and it's definitely a look i'm going to be doing this springtime <laughs> um but yeah this is just again one of their sweaters very very similar to the last one but in like a navy and then it's got the writing in it's kind of like fluorescent yellow but i really like this look it sort of reminds me of I don't know, school vibes <laughs> in a way, but I really like it. Um, and then I've also popped on underneath one of their sports bras, which again is really, really supportive. It makes me look like I've had a boob job. And it's got, hang on, let me just take off this jumper one sec. So this is the back of the sports bra, which I feel like looks so nice. But yeah, it's very, very supportive and makes the boobs look great, but also they feel very, very safe. And I can actually <laughs> vouch for the slightly big, I mean, I know I don't have massive boobs still, but the slightly bigger boobed gals, they ain't moving and they do wobble now, so. <laughs> okay, final look. We have this super baggy zip up hoodie, which I feel like will just go with absolutely everything. Um, and also, if you look, it's got that really nice sort of bagged out back too. And then I've also just thrown on my capsule version of that top I was talking about because I am obsessed with, I have this one in white as well as gray. They just go with absolutely everything, but they also kind of like mold around your body in just a really nice way without kind of squishing you. But that is all the pieces that I picked up. Let me turn you around. We've been in the mirror for a flipping age. <laughs> I will make sure I leave everything linked in the description box in case there is anything that you like the look of. And yeah, thank you so much again to Adenola for partnering with me on this part of the video. I feel very privileged. As I said, I was already a huge fan. So I just feel really privileged that they wanted to work with me on this. So thank you so much, Adenola. But anyway, I am going to get on with writing a new beyond challenge coming soon and then later we will do some working out together and I want to chat to you about what my routine is at the moment and all of that jazz so I will see you in a second for you in a while for me guys I can't deal with Basil he sat waiting for his dad to come home oh is that where you sit when we're out I didn't know that <laughs> he sat on his little cushion I was wondering where he was Are you waiting for daddy to come home he won't be long, baby man. <laughs> His matching brows of Niall make me die. Anyway, I am sat in the front room. Also, I am conscious that the light might change quite a lot in this clip. Just like the last video when we were doing the Q&A, the light drastically changed throughout the video. And while I was editing it, I was like, this is going to be so annoying to watch. But the sun is just slowly going down now. I wanted to take you guys through a bit of my workout routine now, what I've been doing with fitness, 
since finding out I'm pregnant and what my current workout routine basically is. And then I'm going to do a Pilates class, which I thought I would film with you some bits of and sort of chat to you about that a bit too. But basically, my current workout routine is I am currently doing a workout challenge slash plan on my fitness and mental health app Beyond. So I launched a new challenge in January called Strength, which is all about being strong and feeling strong from within. And it's essentially a mixture of weightlifting and Pilates. So I'm doing one of the Pilates sessions today. So there's one Pilates session a week written into everyone's plan. And the rest of it is weightlifting. So I am still weightlifting. I know it's a little bit controversial fitness when you're pregnant and it does vary so much woman to woman as to what you can do and what you're advised to do. And you should always kind of listen to what your midwife slash doctor tells you because you know some women are having more complex pregnancies or high risk pregnancies, twin pregnancies. They just might be advised not to do certain things. My advice from my midwife was to carry on as normal. So I think that is usually the norm if you're not having you know, a high risk pregnancy is you can kind of do what you were doing before but you wouldn't necessarily take it up a notch. <laughs> well, I definitely wouldn't advise you to take it up a notch while pregnant. Essentially, I'm still weightlifting. I'm still doing very similarly to what I was before. I've been really fortunate with my pregnancy so far that I'm actually able to do that because I know some women, you know, get really ill. Yeah, their bodies wouldn't be able to do it because they're exhausted or they're sick. I did struggle quite a lot in the first trimester though on certain days where I was just absolutely exhausted and I just found I was very low on motivation and I procrastinated a lot with just feeling like I wanted to get myself to the gym during the first trimester but I feel like my energy is back I'm still quite breathless which you can probably hear throughout this vlog and today particularly while I'm talking and moving I'm noticing the breathlessness even more within myself because I don't know, I'm just, like when you're vlogging you can't really talk at like a slow pace because it's really boring for people to watch. Bear with if you are hearing lots of like heavy breaths, <laughs> I'm sorry. My workout routine is two upper body sessions a week, two lower body sessions a week and one Pilates session a week. Strength workout is essentially set out with usually five exercises and they are your solid sort of compound lift moves usually with some isolation moves at the end. And there are three phases in this strength guide. If you would like to join the strength plan, we do have a seven day free trial on Beyond and it is amazing. I'm so pleased with the response to it and the response to mixing in Pilates because I wanted to bring in Pilates. We've got an amazing trainer called Katie who is from America and she is so lovely, so warm, just such a great teacher and the Pilates classes are like a class so she is in real time on video with you. Pilates is a very good option for pregnant women as well because it's lower intensity but I wanted to bring that in so that we can bring in more forms of movement because I'm all about finding a form of movement that works for you because movement in pregnancy particularly I think is so important. Now it doesn't mean you need to uh, weight lift at all because as I said it won't be for everybody. Pilates is a really good option although there is a lot of core. And that's the thing that I have found that I've had to adjust slightly, ab movements, because through pregnancy you can form a thing called ab separation, which I'm trying to avoid because I don't want it to happen to my core, hopefully, but you, some, you know, it's, it can be inevitable, but you can, you know, kind of avoid exercises like crunches. It's all about listening to your body and when my body does, something feels a little bit, oh, don't know about that anymore. I just have to like, you know, change it up. And I don't tend to train my abs massively. It's more in some of the Pilates classes, which I have to slightly adjust things. And um, yeah, I'll just listen to my word. I won't like overstretch it, twist it too much. So, you know, obliques isn't the best idea for me now, or, you know, something that really stretches it out or crunches um, are things that can form ab separation. So that's one thing I've been doing to kind of slightly adjust the way I train. We will have definitely just changed angles and lighting because I had to very quickly run out and drop Niall at the station because he was rushing to get to the Arsenal match tonight. <laughs> but 
I just wanted to very quickly conclude what I was saying because I realize I have blabbed at you so much today and I don't really like doing that too, well I mean I say that but I've always been a huge blabber but I don't like vlogs where it's just me sat talking at you all the time. I like to like, you know, show different things and it'd be a bit more interactive and fun. <laughs> So I just feel like because I haven't sat and chatted and sat down and talked to you in so long, especially about fitness, I just had so much to talk to you about and um, yeah, I'm sorry, I really hope it hasn't been boring today and I promise the next video will, will be a lot less blabby. Also, I realise you're not all pregnant and I'm not just going to talk about pregnancy things all the time or relate everything about fitness that I talk about to pregnancy, it's just I wanted to document this here and there along my journey as well as just you know general fitness that I'm doing. Exercising will just benefit you so much if you can even if it's a walk, if it's pilates, if it's yoga, if it's weightlifting like me, just moving will have so many benefits to you being pregnant and you know it can help with pains and aches during pregnancy and it can also really help you during birth and labour because your body will feel stronger. So many benefits. But also I just find that on the days where I really can't be bothered, I still find that I know that I will feel happier, I'll feel less stressed, I'll feel more productive and that goes for any person. And that's what, what really motivates me on days where I'm not motivated is the thought of that feeling afterwards. And I know I always blab on about this too, but it's so true. And um, I just knew if I could, when I was pregnant one day, I hoped I would be able to train, just be able to move my body through it because it's such a big part of my life and I love it so much and it just really helps me day to day with everything in my brain. <laughs> so yeah, for anybody that is thinking about exercising right now, whether you're pregnant or not, and you can't be bothered, just think about how great you will feel afterwards and how you will probably feel less stressed, you'll probably feel more productive for the day, you'll probably feel much more energised for the day and just lighter in your headspace and less anxious. Just think of those things because that's what always gets me through. Another thing I did just want to go back on to do my workout routine with the strength plan. When I said there was three phases, it is very much designed to get you results. So it's written with progressive overload. So I've put them in three phases so that you progress with difficulty and then you will progress physically as well and see those results. And although the exercises might be very similar, in certain parts, they're supposed to because that's when you'll really see progress. If you really want a good weightlifting plan, also mix in some Pilates in there too, then please come join our strength plan because it's so good. There's thousands of women doing it right now and you will feel amazing um, doing it and following a plan is definitely the best way to really see progress. I will leave Beyond linked in the description box and you could try it for seven days free if you just want to see if it's your vibe. Anyway, I'm going to do the Pilates class and I promise that is the last long blab of this vlog. <laughs> I'm annoyed at myself. <laughs> Grabbing onto opposite elbows, just rocking side to side. All of your plank just for three, two, one. Okay, and then you're gonna slowly bring your elbows up and then you're gonna bring Guys, I don't know what's going on with my senses this evening, but they are extremely heightened. I literally was just preparing some ingredients downstairs to make guacamole. And I was chopping, <laughs> I was chopping up a chilli. I must have still had a little bit of my finger, even though I washed my hand, because chilli in the eye, if you itch your eye after chopping chilli, it's one of the worst things <laughs> ever. But it must not have completely come off my hand, because I went to go and eat a crisp. My lip is on fire. I've been drinking milk, I've been holding ice cubes, I thought I was better with spice these days but it's just stings so much but anyway my face mask also feels extra tingly so I don't know if my body's just having a moment right now <laughs> but I've just popped on my Valentine's next pyjamas which I think are very cute and I've put this face mask on, I'll show you the one I've been using 
Here's a little chubby. What are you up to? Chunking about. <laughs> Face mask, which I've been using a lot recently. It's the Alpha H Clear Skin Blemish Control Mask. Essentially, it's supposed to like calm down inflammation. And I really, really have been loving it. And actually, since using all these Alpha H products, which I showed in my pregnancy vlog, my perioral dermatitis has got so much better. It's mainly just dry now. It's not like red and angry and sore for the first time in months. So I'm really, really pleased with that. But anyway, I'm actually gonna make this guacamole. <laughs> I'm a bit scared of the chili now, so I might not put it in, but I just will show you what I'm using. I just had this moment where I was like, do you know what? I fancy guacamole, fresh guacamole though, with a crisp. I didn't show you my lunch either. I did have some scrambled eggs, but it was a bit boring, so I didn't show you, but I just thought I'd have a bit of a snack on this because there's nothing better than like really fresh guacamole. I don't like the store-bought stuff fresh. So <laughs> I've prepared the ingredients. So we've got some tomatoes, chili, which we may be taking some of that away because I don't know if I can do it with it today. <laughs> we've got avocado, garlic, lime, salt, and then our crisps. And I'm going to whack that all together and make a little pre-dinner snack, I think. And then for my dinner, I'm going to have, also look, a little bub on the fridge. I literally can't wait to see them again next week. We've got another scan, which I'm so excited about. I am going to have some leftovers for dinner. So, last night, Niall made me and him some curry, which was stunning, and there was so much leftover that I was like, you know what, let's go again. <laughs> so he made a chicken tikka masala, which is my favorite curry. What's your favorite curry, actually, guys? Let me know, because I feel like most of us it's tikka masala, isn't it? Is it the most common or is korma? Korma's not quite my thing, it's a little bit too bland, but chicken tikka masala when it's done right, unbelievable. Also, this is a new craving of mine. I eat one of these every single evening with a sprinkle of sugar. I don't know what it is, I'm just a juicy craver and the strawberries are doing it for me at the moment. I'm absolutely obsessed, so I've got them ready too. Ready for that moment in bed when I'm needing to chomp away while I watch Love Island. And I also picked these up because I thought Niall could have one when he gets home as well. And he'd probably appreciate that. I love an Easter egg as well. I feel like Easter chocolate is probably the best chocolate. And even though it's just normal chocolate shaped like an egg, it's better as an egg, isn't it? <laughs> Gamole, gua, gua, gamole, do the avocado, feel the avocado. <laughs> That's got to be one of the most satisfying things to look at in the world. Other than popping spots, although I feel like I kind of love watching people's spots being popped, but it also makes me want to die inside a little bit. Mmm. Oh, I felt the chili coming then, but that was really good. Oh, guacamole with fresh tomato in. So much better. Oh, so good. <laughs> that is really good. So much better than store-bought guacamole. Oh, that's so nice. I'll leave my recipe in the description box because <laughs> it was a complete um, guess and just, what's the word I want? Why can't I think of the word? What is wrong with my brain today? <laughs> I look like I've got Botox now, my face isn't moving because of this face mask. Oh, what's the word? It was an experiment. That's what I mean to say. Mmm. I... I'm going to take this to the TV. We've got The Simpsons on, which is one of my favourite TV pastimes. I'm probably going to catch up on some EastEnders with my guacamole. <laughs> um, you know what? Has anyone watch Happy Valley? Oh my god, how good was Happy Valley? I'm so sad that they stopped making it now, but I also can't believe they waited like seven years between seasons so that Ryan grew up. Can you believe that? Or is that just a myth? Apparently that's why there was like a seven year gap between series two and three. 
but how good was season three? Can't believe it's over, I'm so sad. I'm gonna love you and leave you. Thank you so much for joining me today. And again, apologise in advance for the blab. I promise I won't be as over the top chatty in my next, well, I mainly mean like when you sit there for ages and listen to me chat, it's probably not the most interesting. So there was just lots of big chats today. I'm gonna love you and leave you. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for joining me today. And I'm excited to be back vlogging. I need to kind of get my flow back a little bit with filming. I always find when I haven't been vlogging consistently like this in a day, <laughs> getting back into it and talking to my camera again, I'm just feeling normal. So if I've seemed a little bit, don't know what I'm doing today, it's probably because I didn't. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all okay. Sending you all the love and I will see you very soon. Probably in the gender reveal video because I think I'm gonna post that next because we keep all, almost saying he or she and Yeah, I'm just gonna I just want to tell you guys so I will share that next in the next couple of days, but We will see you very soon when we Besme. Good boy. It doesn't taste very good does it is to help mummy's skin